A warm good evening to one and all gathered here. This is Saumya from Tripoli Department from Dr. NGP IT. It's my immense pleasure to invite you all for the five day session conducted from 3-8-2020 to 7-8-2020. All the participants will be certificated at the end of the fifth day of the session when you fill the feedback link. Now I request Dr. S. Jagnathan a glorious and a supporting head of Tripoli department to address the gathering. Sir. Hello. Hello. So I'm audible? Sir, you're audible, sir. Okay. So welcome you all yeah, for sir, this. Uh, yeah. Welcome you all for this student development program. This is a phase two. So this is a good uh, platform to learn uh, between students to students because uh, they are two years or three years ahead from uh, your age. So this is a nice platform. I can enjoy your uh, learning in this uh, pandemic period also. So our students are always bright. Our students are uh, what will be keeping uh, updating this uh, new technologies, uh, whatever it may be technology in and around, whether it can go for artificial intelligence or machine learning or deep learning. Our students are getting bright and brightened. So from the students, I can learn uh, this peer group learning. And so I can call this a peer group learning. So with that, we can enjoy a lot from this uh, student development program. So I hope we can continue this program. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon Mr. A. Sendil Nadan, Assistant Professor of Tripoli, to highlight few words about Tripoli Department. Thank you, Samia. Good evening, one and all gathered here. It gives me immense pleasure to say about Dr. NGP Institute of Technology, Department of Electrical and Electronics Engineering highlights. For any department, there are four pillars sorry, five pillars, that is one is your faculty members, the second one is placement, infrastructure, value programs, industrial interaction, uh, the last one is professional society. When you deal about placement of Dr. and GPIT, Tripoli department, the placement orientation class will be taken right from third year, also in final year, by core department staff as well as by placement staffs. The training and orientation are given in the aptitude as well as in the core knowledge. We have 150 plus on and off campus drive for Tripoli department and the placement record was about 95 percentage for Tripoli department. The training also also given for gate etc. And our students are placed in reputed companies such as Baiju's, Robert Bosch, Siemens, Tech Magendra etc. with the highest salary, salary package of 10 lakhs per annum. The average salary package was about 2.5 to 3 lakhs per annum. When we deal about value added courses, for every semester, we, our students are trained in NI LabVIEW, Core 1 and Core 2 training, ECAD, PLC, SCADA, C, C++, MATLAB, etc. We have an active MOU with reputed companies and industries such as Siemens, Salzer, Cranes Private Limited, NI LabVIEW, and Pantech, etc. Using MOEs, our students can be can have an opportunity to have internship, in plant training, industrial visit, guest lecture, as well as placement. Industry-centered labs such as NI Lab, Bio Academy, Salzer Innovator Center, E and Robotics Labs are made for 30 plus lakhs to enhance the skill of Tripoli students. These are the three dedicated labs. Um, and we have about 10 major labs such as electrical machines lab, control system lab, microprocessor microcontroller lab, power system simulation lab, electron devices lab, renewable energy lab, power electronics lab, project lab, engineering practice lab, linear integrated lab with the support of seven technical staff to enhance the practical skill of the students. When you go for the awards, our student competed with the leading universities and won many awards. Some of them are NI Andhra Award, 
Magendram Satyam Scholar Award, ITPLE Student Project Funding Awards, Motorola Scholar Award, ICT ACT Youth Talk Award, ICT ACT Youth Present Award. When you go for uh, professional society, our IEEE department has two professional society with us. One is IEEE, another one is ISTE. The professional society membership can give added advantage to your sim. IEEE funds student project for their student branches. Maximum two branches can participate in this uh, student project funding scheme. And it will fund about 15,000 per each batch. For more than seven years, our students got selected in the student project funding scheme of IEEE. Next, we have IEEE X-Team. It's a 24 hours competition program hosted by IEEE USA. And uh, our uh, college students are competitor. And most of the students achieved global ranking in it. Senior professors, so-called as proctor, will monitor and help during the 24 hours competition. And in the next, we have epic scheme for uh, from IEEE, which funds maximum of $500, that is almost equal to 35,000 for social relevance problems. And you have a many number of MGA awards and stay connected and have a happy learning. Thank you. Thank you, sir. We are happy to introduce our today's session speaker, Mr. C. Kishore of second year Tripoli to deliver the lecture on the topic fuzzy logic based control system. Kishore, who is a helping heart of a class and who is also very much interested in science ethics and have participated in Knowledge Institute of Technology and has won a first prize in the competition. He, we have a list of words to talk about him and also I wind up this by telling him he is an athletic and also has won many medals in athletics. And now I hand over this session to Mr. Kishore. Pleasant evening to all guys and warm welcome you all guys to this session. In this session, I'm going to highlight about fuzzy logic based control system. Some people may have some questions like what is fuzzy, where it is used, why it is used. And I had never heard about the name fuzzy. Meanwhile, me too had those same questions when I see this topic for the first time. And I assure you that it is not a complicated topic, but it is quite interesting and simple. And next. Yes, um, intro uh, overviews, uh, introduction, what is fuzzy logic, types of fuzzy logic system, fuzzification, defuzzification, fuzzy in real life, advantage and disadvantage. Finally, conclusion. These are the upcoming contents we can see each topic one by one in upcoming slides. Next. Introduction. Fuzzy logic is a set of human language rules where although fuzzy is quite different and fairly old logic, but still it is very effective type of logic and knowledge representation where as this logic have applied to numerous area, especially in robots, drones, cars, etc. Many tasks are simple for human beings, but they create a continuous challenge for machines. Well, for example, of such systems include walking through a clustered environment, lifting fragile objects or parking a car. So the ability of human to deal with value and impresses, impress data makes such tasks easy for us. Therefore, if we aim to replicate the control action of a human operator, we must be able to model the activities of the operator and not of the pack itself. Our model must be built so that it is uh, capable for dealing with value information. Fuzzy logic based on, based on systems do precisely that they excel while systems are particularly complex and have been used successfully in many applications. Next. Mm, yeah. What is fuzzy logic? Plato, who recognized the logic system of true and false, 
and also an undetermined area of uncertainty in 1960s dr zade a professor at university of california published an obscure paper on fuzzy set that reached the fuzzy logic set theory dealing with approximation only rather than fixed or exact value and it is many value logic fuzzy logic has been around since introduced around since the mid of 60s but was not readily accepted when the professor zare presented a paper on this logic with uh, with proper evidence it has been accepted in 90s so the reason for this logic creation people generally do not divide the things into clean categories in 90s yet still more solid and hard decisions are there so overcome these defects dr zare felt that having controls to accept noisy data might make them easier to create and more effective china china japan and korea so these these countries are early adapters of this logic and these lo- they use this logic in trains for transportation so some people may think that before the use of fuzzy which logic has been used yeah let's see from the next slide next one crypt system which has been used before the use of fuzzy logic the crypt system is nothing it is inversion of fuzzy logic crypt logic which deals with fixed and exact value then fuzzy based on degree capture meanwhile crisp is same as boolean logic you people are probably know boolean logic is zero and ones where it zero leads to false and one tends to true the difference between both fuzzy set and crisp set is in fuzzy set described by value and ambitious property and elements are allowed to partially include in the set then it is used in controllers especially and it is infinite value logic but in crypt system precise and certain characteristics or the properties and elements is either the member of set or not probably because the boolean logic has been used zero and one so then it is for use in digital design and it is a by value logic so next for your better explanation i have drawn a rough sketch of two fan regulator on left side it holds old type regulator on right it holds new type first we see about the old type regulator it is based on crisp system hence the regulator consists of 300 rpm probably a ceiling fan have 300 rpm max now the fan regulator point is at 120 rpm if the climate is cold the user decided to fix the fan at um, 80 rpm but he can't do it the reason is crisp system has involved which means we have already seen the definition that is that it deals with fixed and exact very not as approximation so to overcome the false area fuzzy have been involved in the regulator so now see the regulator on the right side which is based on fuzzy logic the user decided to keep the regulator at the same 80 rpm in fuzzy based regulator but he can't get it to in this logic also why it cannot be applicable in this logic as per the definition it not deals with fixed or exact value but it deals with approximation so the user can keep the point at um, 78 or 82 in approx level not as user decided level so this kind of false area known as partial false here i have an another example for you guys that is phone brightness later in 90s button phone were used widely the user have some fixation marks while changing brightness but nowadays we all were using smartphones there are no marks and fixation points the user can fix the brightness to any extreme so um if if you take an apple say if i take an apple a bite that apple is still an apple in is obviously it is correct this bear this bears don't go in logic so if i slice the apple into off still the apple is present so it is one according to boolean logic so if the apple is not there so it is zero according to this logic 
but in fuzzy logic a whole apple is present it is 10% apple if i take a bite of an apple uh, 75% of apple so if i slice the apple into off it's a 50% apple is there so if the apple is not present so it is zero so this is the difference between fuzzy and this system so next okay fuzzy logic types fuzzification diversification fuzzy inference the major part which plays an important role in fuzzy logic is fuzzy inference before we looking forward to the types of exercise explanation of fuzzy system i have tell you an interesting example which may interlinks all three fuzzification diversification and the inference in that let's see how an intelligent robot tackles the task of boiling an egg using fuzzy logic boiled eggs are popular for breakfast in worldwide and robotic engineer who designs the robot with this grandma recipe book if the egg size is small then boil it with white less than 5 minutes while if the egg size is larger then boil it for more than 5 minutes but the designer had let some questions what is small large less more mean we know that the egg weight leads to 40 to 70 g on the boiling time ranging 3 to 6 minutes by using of fuzzy logic it neutralizes this knowledge designing an intelligent robot requires three step fuzzification inference diversification step 1 fuzzification the robot takes an egg and measures its weight according to fuzzy logic any egg is small or large is based on degree for example if egg is 50 g as the as it is a small egg it is uh, its degree is 70% as it is larger larger egg it is degree is um, somewhat 30 degree hence those are the fuzzy values step 2 is inference if the degree of the egg is greater than the degree of uh, degree of the egg is greater then cook it less than 5 minutes if the degree of the egg is smaller then cook it more than 5 minutes step 3 is diversification the robot must calculate the actual boiling point based on fuzzy values in precise step hence for the sum for 70 percentage less and 30 percentage more and 5 minute boiling time so balance decision the robot going to make with the help of inference for boiled egg the robot decided it's 4 minute so an intelligent boiling fuzzy logic robot is now ready so next yeah um now let's see the definition of fuzzy fuzzification fuzzification is the process of converting film's quantity into fuzzy value that it is performed by the use of the information of knowledge base whereas Crisp quantity are not deterministic and quite uncertain in nature. Although various types of curves can be seen in literary Gaussian, triangular, trapezoid, are the most commonly used in fuzzification process. I mean, institution method is used for fuzzification of input variables. How next? For example, consider the temperature as Crisp's value, which means the degree 36.5 degrees Celsius is Crisp's value, and the doctor who is seeing the temperature as a fuzzifier and the patient as a device. So this fuzzification language can be understood only by the device. So when I say the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius, the viewer, which means the doctor, converts the Crisp quantity into a linguistic variable of the patient. Then he says the temperature of your body is quite normal state, so don't worry. Okay, next. Yeah, fuzzy inference. Fuzzy inference, which is simply known as rule. Fuzzy inference rule base it stores the knowledge about the operation of pro operation of process of the mind. It stores the knowledge about um, all the input output fuzzy relationship. it also has the membership function which defines the input variable to the fuzzy rule base and the output variable to the control basically it stimulates human decision by performing approximate reasoning which may also act as decision maker based upon rules but it leads to difficult in some categories like hypothetical questions 
even humans can now answer this for these type of hypothetical questions so there are two types of fuzzy inference mamadani and swigino so mamadani fuzzy inference system was proposed as the first attempt in the control a steam engine and boiler combination by a linguistic control obtained from the experienced human operator but swigino inference system was proposed by swigino and kang to develop systematical approach of fuzzy rules from the given input and output data set so difference between both mamadani and swigino type is in mamadani type output membership function is present the output surface is discontinuous and distribution of output through de- through defacification of rules consequent is obtained mamadani fis process less which means fuzzy inference process is less flexibility in system designs it has more accuracy in security evaluation block cheaper algorithm it using it using both miso and mimo miso means multi input single output and multi output and multi input both are used in mamadani type swigino type no output no output membership is present the output of surface is continuous none of distribution only mathematical output is there no dis- no defacification is there swigino fis process or flexible system design in system designing it has less accuracy in security evaluation block in cheaper algorithm it use only miso which means multi input and single output only so by comparison both mamadani and swigino type mamadani is much more convenient and reliable in usage of human usage for humans and the system designers next next yeah defacification defacification is the process of producing a quantifiable result in crisp logic given and corresponding membership degrees it is the process that maps a fuzzy set to crisp set it is typically needed in fuzzy control system defacification has four methods four methods max membership principle which means known as the max membership principle which is based on height limiter of peaked output junction and the next centroid method it is also known as center of area center of gravity etc and next weighted average method it is valid for symmetrical output membership and finally means max membership or middle of maxima so in this in this uh, fourth method centroid method and weighted average method are used widely used so difference between classification and defacification is in classification precise data is converted into imprecise data then it is the method of converting crisp to fuzzy quantity and intuition inference rank sorting angular fuzzy sets neural network or the methods involved is quite simple as compared to defacification but in defacification imprecise data is converted into precise data then it is the inverse of classification and max membership centroid method weighted average method center of sums or center of gravity all the methods involved it must be quite complicated one next so uh, architecture of fuzzy logic controller so it is uh, it is a symbol small representation so if you give an input so first process is classification input test knowledge database and linguistic variables and fuzzy inference rules so which is which plays a major part in any device of any device we are using fuzzy logic means fuzzy inference may make a take a major role so fuzzy inference input is rule based and output is fuzzy linguistic variables and finally defacification process this may be happened so output is crisp variable and sent to the plant and to the sensor and it goes on next the yeah. application of flc the sensor which measures the temperature of the roof 
and obtain the value which was given to the falsifier. The falsifier role is to convert the fuzzy value into linguistic variable. For example, if the temperature is 40 degree and the room is too hot, if the temperature is below 40 degree, it's cold. So the next step involves this knowledge based rule, which means fuzzy inference. So if the room is getting heated up rapidly, then increase the fan speed. If the room is getting cold, chill, then set the fan speed less. So as, as usual, the next thing, step involves this defastication, which means it converts the linguistic variable into logical or numerical output. That makes the driver to operate it easier. Next. As I said, so this step has been involved. We are falsifying the degrees into linguistic variable quite hard, as I said in the previously. So next. Yeah, this is a defalsification process. Here, the, as I said that defalsification, it converts a linguistic variable output into logic or numerical variable. Now it makes the driver to make easily operatable. And here, this image represents the different types of approximation location of fuzzy sets. So it's a quite example for you guys. Um, next. Yeah, fuzzy in real life. So fuzzy has played a major role in everywhere, um, in cars, in regular, as I said, regulators, especially in drones. So recently, the Russia had made a drone robot drone robot bird so which fuzzy logic has been implanted so the robot can fly with other birds so it cannot interrupt the other birds so it's a quite uh, drone which is used for investigating the other countries so it'll be quite useful this, this logic has been um, very important uh fuzzy in real automatic braking system which have been fixed in car this have been also known as obstacle sensing unit. Two types of logic have been there, traditional and fuzzy. By comparing both with the same example, we can see the logic is convenient, more reliable, customizable. Mm, yes, uh, yep. In first pick, which holds traditional logic based car, which where it goes behind the red car, it senses that car going in front, which is too far. So zero, no, like the car is close, zero, and the brake is off. So here's traditional logic, which means Boolean logic have been used here. So when the car, while going in front of it, suddenly stops, the car behind the sensing unit applies the sudden brake that may lead to accident or major injury to the driver, passenger, who are all in. So this may be the quite advantage, sorry, sorry disadvantage they seen in the traditional logic. So next. By comparing this traditional logic, fuzzy logic more advanced to one. On the car, with which behind the red car uses fuzzy based sensing unit. Hence, in the first phase, the car is too far from the red car. So the brake system ranges from zero to one, and if the car is close, is zero to one ranges no to S, and the brake system off to on. So in second picture, when the car comes a little bit closer, brakes have been applied with slight pressure of 0 0.2, it's not very, if car is close, 0 0.2 is not very close. Brake is with slight pressure, the brake is applied. So when the car comes, the third picture, when the car comes suddenly too close, the car applies the brake the distance of 0 0.8 meter from the front car. Hence, in this logic, brake system has comes under control each and every time based on the actions of the car. But these futures have not seen in traditional logic. It is the most disadvantage had seen in the traditional logic. So they are using fuzzy logic most widely in all systems. By use of fuzzy logic, an automated accident prevention system is necessary to prevent accident. 
the fuzzy logic control system can relieve the driver from the tension or prevents accident this fuzzy control unit results in accident free world so next okay why use of fuzzy logic in control system see basically fc is designed to emulate human deductive thinking <laughs> the process people use to infer infer conclusion from what they know reliability fc is more reliable than conventional control system efficiency fuzzy logic provides more efficiency when applied in control system as you seen in the more previous examples the system cannot be reduced or idealized to develop a working fuzzy logic controller in traditional logic we need to know about physical and applied functional knowledge of the device which we use it must be quite difficult in many terms but in fuzzy logic the user need not know about the model of physical and knowledge if the user can utilize the human expertise and experience and then inference which is the if or then as rule based utilized in designing controller which must be more convenient in using fuzzy logic next yeah advantage advantages of flc flc is cheaper than other controllers in terms of performance it, it is more customizable more robust than pad controllers pad is nothing but proportional integrated derivative control are used in most of the automatic process control application in industries today to regulate flow temperature and pressure level and many other industries process variable pad controllers consist of three terms namely proportional integral and derivative control the combined operation of these three controllers gives control strategy for the process control pad controllers manipulates the process variable like um, pressure speed temperature flow etc so as it compared to flc it is more robust and more advanced so ability human directive thinking which is more reliable and it provides more efficiency when it apply it to control system next yeah disadvantage so this one is not a main big problem in fuzzy logic which means it requires lots of data uh, flc is not very useful of useful for programmers much smaller need of high human expertise and we need to update in update for many times as per the human language linguistic rules etc next yes finally conclusion no need of much knowledge of the system should be determined by linguistic rules but the theory is intended to introduce the imprecise and vagueness in order to attempt the model the human brain in artificial intelligence significance of such theory is increasing day by day in field of expert systems however the kilp system theory was very effective as the initial concept to the model the digital and expert system working on binary logic which means fuzzy logic so fuzzy logic is quite interesting and uh, upcoming is uh, upcoming law upcoming uh, revolution in industries which makes the user to make the work easier etc okay now i open this session for queries
Ah, uh, okay, sir. So we were asking that what is specification? So specification now only like so. If uh, we pack a or crisp quantity, if we want to, but ah, the thermometer you get it. Now, if we want to, doctor want to pack thermometer pack a thirty six point five degrees Celsius in calm. Okay, so doctor will tell you thirty six point five degrees. Now, okay, if we hold on temperature, but patient will tell you. Now, patient to boy, your body want to thirty six point five degrees Celsius. Like, okay, now patient want to collapse. Okay, so our case, our language, like, 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 okay, so our case, our ஏத்தாரிஸ்ஸ் <laughs> fuzzy logic is always advantages over crisp logic see uh, crisp logic is uh, not mean say it is not a uh, this uh, not mean say it is not a old logic but crisp logic has many disadvantages as compared to fuzzy logic because we we are using in cars automatic braking system we know the traffic system in our country so if the friend car is suddenly get stopped the crisp if the crisp uh, sensing it is used in the car it get only something crashed it's a sudden break the driver you may get injured so avoid these kind of disadvantages so they used fuzzy fuzzification logic so sorry fuzzy logic in the cars so which measures the distance any time on the brake system is under control of the sensing system but in this system the system braking system is not under control the under control the sensing unit if the car is too close suddenly it pushed the brake so this many advantage disadvantages in this so fuzzy used here a question thank you great presentation thanks bro for further queries you can directly open your mic and speak directly to mr kishore okay if you want any clarification about this topic in chat box i will uh, give my mail id you can mail me so i will refer you and say the answers Okay, thank, thank you, you mr kishor thank you for this opportunity given by sendil nalan sir and respected hod sir special thanks for all you participants you guys made me the session glorious and thanks for the awesome intro thank you thank you kishor thank you kishor thank, thank you, you for all the active participants our next session is tomorrow at the same time and we have mr s arjunan to deliver a topic on oldest and latest versions of electrical and electronic devices thank you all and you can sign out now and stay connected and keep learning sir maybe we can sign out sir yes yeah, sir of course if you have any no clarification then you can sign out okay sir thank you sir thank you sir okay sir.